It's Nolan. What's going on, y'all? It's the kid, Jay Nolan here. Welcome back to another live edition of Inside the Industry, your number one source for music and entertainment breakdowns and commentary. Y'all know why we're here. I'm going to let y'all get a couple seconds to get up in here. We're going to talk about this new Drake, getting this new Drake. Let your folks know. We're going to talk about it. I see we got the poll already up and running. I see y'all already saying y'all wasn't feeling it. We got 17 votes so far. So far, Y'all talking about, no, I need to listen some more. Only 6% says yes. 11% says yes. Okay. So we got some people that actually like the diss. We got the new diss record from Drake called push-ups aka drop and give me 50 there's actually two versions that have leaked on the net a couple hours ago the first version it sounded like a reference track it wasn't all that clear some people even thought it was ai i ain't gonna lie i did too it sounded a little weird the vocals had a little bit of distortion on them but now there's a, a full length version new beat from boy wonder the final version, some of the lines have been changed. We're going to get into it all. Make sure y'all get in the chat. Let me know what y'all think. Be sure to fill out that vote. Yeah, yeah. People said it was AI, but uh, the, the final version is out. There's a new version, and it's full audio quality. It's, it's real. All right? And some lines have been changed. Yeah, yeah. People thought that's what it was at first because it had some, some funny uh, distortion on the vocals. But nah, this is legit -y. Straight up legit. Yeah, we in here. What's good, fam? What's good? JD Print, JD, Tatiana, Ten to One, KK. Yeah, yeah, Great T. What's happening? Okay. Now, this is what everybody's been waiting for. We was trying to see if Drizzy was actually going to stand up for himself because we know sometimes he could take a long time to get back to people. He gets to you on his own time. Sometimes he'll bow out. You feel me? I said F work. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Before we get into everything, I do want to go ahead and give a big shout out to Blondell and Tamia. We greatly appreciate y'all for your contributions to the channel. I'm not even going to play Lotto this time because I want to get right into it. But Blondell and Tamia, thank you so much. Super insiders, super chats. We greatly appreciate y'all. Let's get to these lyrics, man. Let's get to these mother effing lyrics. This is getting deep. All right. Once again, this song is called Push Ups. Drop and give me 50. He's going at Kendrick Lamar. He's going at The Weeknd. He's going at Metro and Future. He's going at Rick Ross. Like, he's sparing no one. He even makes mention of J. Cole on the record. You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, I don't give a F what J. Cole done did. That, that dot shit was weak. But we're going to get there. We're going we gonna to slow drag this. All right? So... Let's get to the lyrics. I can never be nobody number one fan. Your first number one, I had to put it in your hand. So off rip, he's talking to Future. Because Future never had a number one until he worked with Drake. My goodness. Um, the Way Too Sexy record that they did together was Future's first number one. Not to mention the album went number one. And Kendrick and them dissing him went number one at that. So I really gave you your first two or three number ones. You know what I'm saying? Had to put them in your hand. You pussies can't get booked outside America for now. So he's talking about certain artists that can't get booked outside the States. Y'all niggas be touring domestically all the time, but overseas y'all are nobodies. That's what he's basically trying to say. Now, again, that doesn't apply to Kendrick Lamar. That more so applies to Future. I don't think we've ever seen him tour overseas. And if we have, it was very briefly, right? He says, I'm the hit maker y'all depend on. Uh, I'm out in Tokyo because I'm big in Japan, just to throw it in their face. I'm the hit maker y'all depend on. Backstage in my city, it was friend zone. You will never take no chain off of us. How the fuck you big stepping with a size seven men's on? You know that's for Kendrick. He said, how you a big stepper and you wearing a size seven men's shoe? Ain't no way you could come around here playing with me like that, boy. You, <laughs> you better off beefing with your prints in the sand. <laughs> I fuck with K-Dot the strong way, pause no diddy, but this shit hard. I ain't gonna lie. Some people don't like this shit. JD, thank you so much. Thank you so much. I ain't even see that because I'm over here reading the lyrics. Thank you so much, JD. Shout out to everybody in the chat. I thank y'all. Nah, nah, nah. People are saying the AI thing is to test to see if people are real. The AI thing is over with. That, that, that rumor is out the window. The real version of the song is out already. 
It just dropped maybe like a half hour ago. It's not on streaming or anything like that, but the, the full quality version is out. It's been leaked. Shout out to DJ Who Kid who leaked it out, by the way. <clears throat> um, let's get back to this because I see somebody saying that it's... uh. Y'all saying it's Nickelodeon bars. These ain't Nickelodeon bars. If you don't like Drake, I know you're already kind of biased. That's why I say I like everybody involved and I'm going to let everybody's work speak for itself. This shit hard. So how you, how the fuck you big stepping with a size seven men's on? This the bark with the bite, nigga. What's up? I know my picture on the wall when y'all cook up. That's hard, too, because as y'all know, the last two albums that Future and Metro Boomin put out, most of the records were aimed at Drake, so it's like clearly my picture's on the wall when y'all cooking up. Y'all looking at me, you know what I'm saying? Y'all dedicating all y'all shit to me. Extortion, baby, whole career you been shook up because Top told you drop and give me 50 like some push-ups. So this is back at Kendrick Lamar saying Top, you know, he was signed to Top Dog Entertainment. Top Dog is the owner of the C CEO of uh, Top Dog Entertainment, TDE. So Top and, and Kendrick Lamar had a 50-50 split. I don't see how it's... Uh, I'm going to be honest, that line, even though it sounds dope on the record, I don't see how that's something derogatory to say that he was in a 50-50 split with the CEO of his label. Most artists would kill for a 50-50 split. Most artists in this industry, Drake wasn't even getting a 50-50 split the first 12 years on Cash Money. Like, it was well known. That's when Push Pusha T was going at your head saying, you signed to one nigga that signed to another nigga. So... How can you ever try to flip the script and talk about somebody's splits? That part of the song, I, I don't identify with. I don't think that's fire, but it sounds good. I ain't going to lie. <laughs> Drop and give me 50 like some push-ups. And then he did the hood. Huh. Y'all remember the uh, the hood huh from, from Mr. Morale and the Big Stepper? Push these niggas up me like hood. Huh. Get these niggas up me like hood. Huh. That was slick. If you're not paying attention, you're going to miss it. He said, your last one, Brick. You really not on shit. They make excuses for you because they hate to see me lit. Pull your contract because we got to be the split. Got to see the split. The way you're doing splits, bitch, your pants might rip. This was this was another simple line. I didn't think this was fire. He's still talking about the splits. We already nullified that, that talking point, but, you know, it is what it is. He says, you better do that motherfucking show inside the bitty. Maroon 5 need a verse. You better make it witty. So now he's taking jabs again at Kendrick saying, you better do that, do that show in the city, right? The bitty. Because Kendrick has blood ties with Top Dog and them. Better do that show inside the bitty. Maroon 5 need a verse. You better make it witty. So, you know, Kendrick has also been known to collaborate with artists like Maroon 5. Uh, next up, he says, uh, then we need a verse for the Swifties, which he's also collaborated with Taylor Swift as well. So, He's making fun of the fact that he's getting with these pop artists just to do numbers when Drake on his own feels like he do numbers all off, off his own name. Um, top say drop. You better drop and give him 50. So he says that again. Like you you done left the label and they still eating 50 percent off your off your raps. Then he continued to say pip squeak pipe down. So now he's taking shots at his size. For those of y'all that don't know, Kendrick Lamar is like 5'6", so he's saying, Pip Squeak, pipe down. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you ain't in no big three. SZA got you wiped down. So he's saying, I don't see you in the big three. Cole was being liberal, putting you in here. You ain't in no big three. Your own label mate, SZA, the R&B chick on your shit, got you wiped down. Right? Travis got you wiped down, as in Travis Scott. Savage got you wiped down. So he's saying, all these other artists come before you in the conversation. Like your label boy, you in a scope right now. So he's saying... You know, Kendrick is signed to Interscope, or at least he was signed to Interscope. We don't know what PG Lang is through. I know he's with uh, Universal as far as his publishing deal, but I don't know where K Kendrick is signed right now with PG Lang as a as a joint. But he says, uh, like your label, well, you in a scope right now, and you're going to feel the aftermath of what I write down, which is another reference because Kendrick was signed to Dr. Dre's aftermath for the first few albums also. Um, I'm at the top of the mountain, so you tight now. Just to have this talk with your ass, I had to hike down. So he's saying, just for me to even speak with you in this moment, <laughs> I had to hike down. Like, I'm at the top of the mountain, and I had to come down to your level so that we could even have this conversation. Y'all saying this joint corny? I don't understand. I don't understand how y'all saying this is corny. That's wild. He's, he, he did a whole song in... in response 
He did a whole record. Kendrick gave everybody four bars. He did a whole song. Like, I'm not mad at that. I I, I understand everybody got they they fight everybody chose they fighter in the battle. But if somebody drops something quality, I'ma always say it's quality. I'm I'm on team Kendrick. I told y'all that from the jump. If you haven't been in the previous streams, I said that very clearly. But this is a dope record. Like, I think it's dope. Period. Um, but let's keep going. Big difference between Mike then and Mike now. So he said, okay, I was I talked about the Michael Jackson shit on first person shooter, and I got all my number ones. I beat him out. You want to say you Prince? All right, it's a big difference between Mike then when I was being lenient with you and Mike now, as in I'm, I'm at your motherfucking throat this time. And he says, what the fuck is this, a 20v1, nigga? So he, now he's going back at Future and them like, so y'all just made a whole album with everybody on that motherfucker dissing me? It's a 20v1? What's a prince to a king? He a son, nigga, so you a prince. I'm the king, which Michael, Michael Jackson is known as the king of pop, so he's likening himself to mike so what's a prince to a king a son nigga you my son it's slick i I don't believe it you know what i'm saying because i am team kendrick but if i take this at face value and just break down what he's saying the shit is slick i don't think that i don't think anybody that actually likes rap could really play with this get more love in the city that you from nigga metro shut your whole ass up and make some drums nigga so now he's going at uh number one he said he gets more love in compton than Kendrick do, and it could be at Future and them, because a lot of these rappers in the ATL, they hop on Drake's dick when he comes out here, let's be honest, a lot of these guys have been giving Drake a pass, everybody knows Drake is not that hard, we know Drake is not a tough guy, but y'all have given him so much credibility from all of these Atlanta artists that he done linked up with, now he think he's slime like Young Thug, now he's with, he, he was with Future for many years, he's linked up with 21 Savage and, and Slaughter Gang, so now he has credibility so he's loved more than these other niggas out here um <clears throat> let's keep going metro shut your whole ass up and make some drums so he's like you can't even talk to me keep making drums over there nigga keep making beats why are you even why are you even playing with me right uh yeah i'm the sixth god i'm the front runner y'all nigga manager was chubb's little blunt runner so now he's getting at the weekend saying your manager was was my guy's blunt runner like because everybody should know, if, if you haven't heard, Chubbs, he talks about Chubbs all the time. He's basically Drake's, like, muscle at OVO. So your manager was my muscles, little homie, getting blunts and snicker bars from the store. He was the store nigga. You know what I'm saying? And when you boys got rich, hold on, hold on. Claim the six and you boys didn't even come from it. So now he's getting at Abel, a.k.a. Weekend, even further. Cash blowing Abel bread out here tricking. And when you boys got rich, you had to run from it. Cash blowing Abel bread out here tricking. So he's saying his manager's blowing all of uh, the weekend's money. Shit, we do for bitches, he doing for niggas, right? So we be looking out for women for whatever reason. He's interested in doing stuff for other men. Jets, whips, chains, wicked, 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 which is a reference at future. Spend it like you trying to fuck, but you're tripping. I don't think these, I don't see how y'all can say these is bad bars. I don't understand. We're going to keep it going, though. Uh, Drizzy Chippendale, probably got your bitch Chanel. I just got them done. Boy, don't make me have to chip a nail. This is another line I was like, oh, wow. Because, you know, Drake be getting his nails painted and shit, man. I don't understand what made him jump on that trend. But you can't really diss a nigga with painted nails. Or can you in 2024? But he says he just got his shit done. Don't make him have to chip a nail. Like, actually get his hands dirty with you boys. I don't see that ever happening, but, you know, it sounds good. Rolling Loud stage, y'all were turned. That was slick as hell. As y'all know, on the Rolling Loud stage, Metro Future was up there. Travis Scott was up there. You know, Travis Scott was geeking like a little schoolgirl. Like, please play the, play the dun 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 play the, play the Kendrick diss. They didn't play it, but he's like, okay, that was slick as hell. Y'all was turned. Should have probably changed if your little BM kissing tail. So he said, all that happiness that y'all got going on, should have probably changed if your little baby mama kissing tail. Like, start start leaking information on you niggas. Because you know, Drake's number one move, when he got beef with a nigga, he gonna slide in DMs. He gonna find a way to get to somebody that you used to fuck with, somebody you care about. And he gonna slide in them cheeks and start getting information. It's something that he's been doing for a long time. 
Um, he says, hugs and kisses, man. Don't tell me about no switches. I'll be rocking every fucking chain I own next visit. So it's like XOXO. That's um the weekend's label, hugs and kisses, XO. Don't tell me about no switches. So don't don't come with me with no no hard shit. Right? I be rocking every fucking chain I own next visit. So next time y'all see me around, I'm not tucking my jewelry. Right? I'm not hiding. I'm not ducking no smoke. Y'all gonna see me. I'm still comfortable. Right? Um, I mean, he talking greasy. <laughs> I be with some bodyguards like Whitney. Top say, drop your little midget ass. Better fucking. Hey, better drop and give me 50. So this is like the hook. It's not a hook, but it's basically a hook. Like letting niggas know I'm still on your ass. When top say drop, you better drop and give me 50. You know what I'm saying? Because he's still basically saying top dog is your boss. You can't talk to me. Y'all saying it's trash. I don't understand. Y'all whack. Y'all, I ain't going to say y'all whack, but y'all wildin'. These are not bad bars. Facts. Um, Let me get back to it. Niggas really got me out here talking like I'm 50. Niggas really got me on here rapping what I'm living. I might take your latest girl and cuff her like I'm Ricky. So, boom. He says, cuff her like I'm Ricky, as in, of course, Ricky was a correctional officer. Niggas been giving him a pass his entire career. 50 Cent tried to out him. Niggas let it slide. Now Drizzy throwing it back in his face. I might take your, la your latest girl and cuff her like I'm Ricky. Not to mention... um. Rick, Rick Ross recently broke up with Christina Mackey. Next thing you know, Drake linked up with her, gave her tickets to the show. You know what I'm saying? Because Rick Ross wanted to unfollow him when everybody else was jumping on him, piggybacking, trying to trying to link up with Metro and Future. So he like, shit, I guess Ross got to get it too. Your little, lad, your little chick you was with, I'm going to go ahead and cuff her like I'm you, nigga. How about that? Can't believe this nigga jumping in. He turning 50. Like, how you jumping in on somebody fighting? You you just turn you turning fifty years old, nigga. How you gonna jump in on another man fight? This shit is whack, right? Every song that made it on the chart he got from Drizzy, which is another jab at Rick Ross. Every song that made it on the charts, nigga, it was a collab with me. You never got no big time songs on your own merit. Everybody comes to me for their biggest hits, but then y'all want to switch sides. That's how he feels. Um, spend that little check you got and stay up out my business. Worry about whatever you got going on with you. And this line actually got cut out, but he was like, worry about whatever going on with you and Diddy because, uh, Tia Kemp was trying to make it seem like Rick Ross had something going on with Diddy with the, you know, the trafficking ring and all that stuff. But that line actually got cut out of the, the final version. He says, shout out to the Hooper that be busting out the gritty. That's John ja Morant. He says, we know why you mad, nigga. I ain't even tripping. So apparently Drake and John ja Morant are Eskimo buddies, Eskimo brothers. You know what I'm saying? Uh, twice over, as a matter of fact. So as y'all know, Drake was recently seen with um, with Brooklyn, Brooklyn Nicole, which is Lotto's sister. Um, she was formerly connected with John ja Morant. And then there's another lady. Uh, what's this girl name? The other girl's name is Joanna Leah. She was also linked with John Moran at one time. So Drake done slid in two of Ja's exes. So he says, shout out to the Hooper that be busting out the gritty. I know why you mad, nigga. I ain't even tripping. Cause I guess, uh, John Morant decided he wanted to side with Metro and them too. He says, all that little heartbroken Twitter shit for bitches. I ain't even rapping after this. I'm way too busy. This for all the top dogs dropping, give me 50. So he's saying, all you little niggas, all y'all fall under the same, drop and give me 50. Y'all owe me, y'all really should owe me 50% for everything I've helped y'all accomplish in y'all career. Drop and give me 50. The fuck going on? And of course, when somebody can make you drop and give you 50, like that's the military, like he the sergeant, like y'all niggas got to drop. Drop and give me 50, soldier. Cadet. <laughs> he be talking slick to niggas um, And that fucking song y'all got Is not starting beef with us This shit been brewing in a pot Now I'm heating up So he said that song ain't even what started the beef This shit been brewing in a pot I just been heating up Like I've been really just letting shit ride I've been letting y'all play yourselves I've been letting y'all show y'all hand I've been keeping it cool Staying focused on my path But since y'all want to play these games And try to everybody gang up like the Avengers On one nigga I guess I'm Thanos so I got to go at everybody, right? 
Um, I don't care what Cole think. That dot shit was weak as fuck. So he said, I don't care what Cole think. Cole might still like that nigga. Cole might have came out and apologized to that nigga. Cole might feel like he got some some remnants of respect for, for K-Dot. Man, that dot shit was weak as fuck. We ain't respect that, right? That's how he feels. Champagne tripping, he is not fucking easing up. Nigga calling Top to see if Top want to piece it up. So he's saying Kendrick behind the scenes has been calling Top Dog to try to allegedly get in contact with Drake and them. Like, hey, Top want to piece it up? You want piece, Y'all want to piece it up with them niggas? Top want to piece it up? Nah, pussy, now you're on your own when you're speaking up. You done left the label. You done left the nest. Now you're on your own. You still playing with me? All that past, all them olive branches, all whatever been going on behind the scenes to keep shit peaceful, it's over. That's what he say. You don't roll deep. You don't roll deep to this. It's not fucking deep enough. So now, say all oh, y'all niggas, y'all done came deep, but you ain't deep enough. You At this point, you need to add more soldiers to your army because I'm taking everybody out. You know what I'm saying? He feel like he the Terminator. Uh, begging Kai Sanat, boy, you not fucking beating us. I think that was a jab at Kanye. Um, Cause we seen Kanye and John Monopoly, who's Kanye's manager, get into it with Kai Sanat, and Drake been on Kanye head for the last eight years, damn near. Um, numbers wise, I'm out of here. You not fucking creeping up. Nobody's catching up to my numbers. Money wise, I'm out of here. You not fucking sneaking up. As y'all know or should know, Drake did a re upped his deal with Universal. They allegedly gave him somewhere in the ballpark of five hundred million dollars to come back to the label. So money-wise, none of y'all are catching up to me. I got half a billy on my last deal. Y'all ain't nowhere near me. Plus, uh, Kendrick and and Drake are all universal artists. So it's like, yo, y'all are over here too, but I'm the priority. Y'all ain't catching up to nothing I'm doing. He says, Cornball, your show money's merch money fee to us. So what you get paid for a show, we're making off of merch. Like that ain't even counting what we get paid for the show. I think he's talking to maybe Future. Can't be talking to Kendrick because I think they're in the same ballpark to do shows. Um, I'm going to let you niggas work it out because I've seen enough. This ain't even everything I know. Don't wake a demon up. So he's saying, I haven't even gave y'all everything that I know. This is just a, this is his warning shot. This is Drake's version of a warning shot. So for all y'all that was saying J. Cole dropped a warning shot with seven minutes, whatever the fuck that was. It's not fake. I'm telling y'all, it's, it's the, the actual version is, where did you ever hear of Kanye getting 400 mil? Please, please be serious. I'm just now looking in the chat. I've been reading these lyrics. Kanye didn't get 400 million from nobody. Kanye got dropped from all of his constituents. What are you talking about? Unless you're talking about the Yeezy deal from Gap or fucking uh, Adidas. And we seen he got dropped from them too. Let's not be liars here. I personally favor Kendrick Lamar in this battle, but that doesn't mean I'm going to come on here and start lying on Drake or lying on other people to make the person I like look better. That shit's whack to me. Like, that's not a fair fight. I'm going to be honest. Let me see what y'all talking about in this chat, because I got to clear up some shit. People keep saying it's AI. It's not AI. The first version sounded like AI. If y'all have not gone and refreshed your Twitters, Look up Drake push-ups. There is a CD quality version that was leaked by DJ Who Kid. It's the real version of the song. The beat is different. The lyrics are mostly the same. The one that we that we heard earlier today was a reference track. The actual quality version is out. It's not on streaming, but it's leaked online. It's not AI. Now you're talking about Wayne wrote it. So you're continuing to lie. Michael X, let me put you on the screen. How Lil Wayne wrote this song for Kendrick? I mean, you know what I'm saying? For Drake. How? Where? How would Lil, how would Lil Wayne write when he don't even write for his own shit? <laughs> oh, my God. You think Lil Wayne just doing overtime in the studio for Drake? Not a chance. Not to mention Wayne and Kendrick are cool. You see, Wayne ain't never jumped in and hopped on no track with Drake and went at went at Kendrick. When Carter Five came out, who the fuck was on there? Kendrick. 
These niggas been beefing for 10 years. Kendrick still working with Wayne. Let's talk some sense in the chat, please. <laughs> I know some people's feelings out here hurt. Yes, we understand that Quentin Miller wrote some bars for Drake in the past. We understand that. Just like Gilly the Kid said he wrote for, for fucking Wayne. And they kicked Gilly out of the crew and Wayne went on to drop more music, okay? So if you're going to use that in, in the defense for the rest of his life, that's your prerogative. I elect not to, all right? So I see I see some people in here mad as hell. It's okay. Y'all going to bust a blood vessel being mad about Drake while he's doing whatever the fuck he want to do. Again, I am a Kendrick Lamar fan. I favor him in the battle, but we're not going to we're not going to act like the truth ain't the truth. Um uh, I'm going to let you niggas work it out because I seen enough. This ain't everything, everything I know. Don't wake the demon up. Drop and give me 50 all you fuck niggas teaming up. Right? Then a snippet of another song comes in so it seems like he got even more in the tuck again this is the the new version that's come out there's a, a a second half of the song that fades out and he says what what teaming up with all of y'all falling like some dominoes bros turning hoes dog like i ain't got enough of those so he said y'all niggas uh, bros that used to be cool with me y'all turned into hoes like i ain't got enough of those like <laughs> i got all the ladies why y'all acting like some I can't wait to see how far you niggas get to reaching now. This is the closest thing you niggas getting to a feature now. Backpedal gang. Few of y'all been reaching out. Y'all drew the line. What the fuck we got to speak about? Get your fucking head tapped. You niggas get to peeking out. You start looking around, see who's coming. You're going to get your head tapped. <laughs> On some John F. Kennedy shit. You had a song four years. Drop that shit and shut your mouth. So I don't see how anybody could say this is whack. I'm sorry. If y'all was cool, let's be honest. Y'all niggas was cool with Drake. Not it's not nuclear. I'm gonna be honest. It's not nuclear. But if we wanna if we wanna say anything, if we had to say anything, who had who had the closest to nuclear? It wasn't Kendrick. It wasn't Cole. Out of the songs that we've heard, we've heard three records so far. I personally feel like this is the most direct. I feel like this nigga rapped on y'all niggas for four minutes straight. He's going at any and everybody that's been saying his name or playing with his name for the last few weeks. So I like Kendrick, but he said, fuck the big three nigga. It's just big me. Fuck hip hop. I crash out this Melly Mel if I had to. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Prince outlive Mike Jack nigga bum. Like. All that shit was good. That set the tone and let people know that it was wartime. But we're not going to act like four bars from Kendrick or the few little bars from J. Cole talking about I'm shooting my brother with tears running down my face. I Please, God, forgive me if I have to go against my brother. That shit wasn't setting the tone. Drake came out and was direct. So this just lets me know people are biased. This guy here, Michael X, is now talking about Drake's first album. We're in 2024, and you're referencing his first album. This is, this is how I know y'all are unserious. It's, that's unserious. If you like hip-hop, if you like rap music, I don't understand what y'all, what, what did y'all need more? This is his warning shot. His warning shot was still clapping at everybody on his fucking board. You see all these whited out, blacked out faces on this damn thumbnail? Y'all saying this shit weak? We got Ross back there. We got Metro. We got Future up there looking shocked and appalled. We got Kendrick back here. We got The Weeknd. That's, that's like six niggas. He X'd out in one record. And I'm a Kendrick fan. Come on, dog. Y'all biased. What about Pusha T? He went he went head to head with Pusha T for like we not Pusha T. I love Pusha T. Let me go ahead and preface this. I I listened to the clips 
probably more than the average person. Right? Lord willing, Mr. Me Too, he'll have no fury. I even listened to that other shit to the casket drop. You know what I'm saying? Story of Adidon, all that shit. Fire. But nobody's talking about Pusha T right now. Pusha T ain't even talking about Pusha T right now. Let's be fucking serious. Why are y'all playing in this chat? <laughs> Why are y'all playing in this chat, bro? Y'all gonna make me say something flagrant about these niggas and I don't really have to. Why are you saying... This is, this is how I know y'all smoking on something, man. How you gonna say Kendrick hasn't dropped yet? Drake just dropped his shit less than an hour ago. Kendrick dropped his on Future and Metro shit three weeks ago. Do you not see the number one song in the country is like that? Motherfuck the big three, nigga. It's just big me. It's been the number one song for three weeks. How you gonna say he ain't dropped? We waiting on a response to this, but it just came out. <laughs> what the hell is going on in here? <laughs> Oh, man. Yeah, nobody's... We're we going to probably get to the nuclear shit. We're going to get more responses. We got to set the stage. We got... Why Why are y'all expecting everybody... Not you, Tamara. But why are y'all in the chat expecting everybody to blow their load, pause, no ditty, in one day? I just don't understand what y'all talking about. For everyone saying this was weak, the better song, the better the song. Hold on, which, let me see what you said, Tyler. For everyone saying this was weak, the better the song from Drake, the better Kendrick's response is gonna be. Thank you, so thank you. We got some sense in here. Thank you, Tyler. Like this is direct, so we already know Kendrick gonna have to come back and say something ferocious because he wasn't ducking no smoke. He said his shit head on. He's naming your boss eight times in a song. He's talking about your clique. He's talking about your boys. He's talking about your label mate. Scissor got you beat out for the big three. You not you not even eligible to be in the conversation. The girl on the singing girl on your label gets better ranking than you. How do y'all think that's whack? Y'all tripping. If it's fire, tell him to confirm it's him. The song is produced by Boy Wonder and Forty. The, the information is on Genius right now. It's talking about tell him to confirm. It's pr produced by his primary two producers that been there since day one. Boy Wonder and 40. What more confirmation do y'all need? The, the, the full quality version is available. How you going to say to confirm is him like some nigga just went in there and did it for him? I see a lot of, I see a lot of Delulus out here. Thank you, Hingle. You know what I'm saying? I'm not, I'm not even really a, I'm not a huge Drake fan. I like Drake a lot, but I keep telling y'all, I am in K-Dot's corner. But this nigga dropped a good diss song, which is only going to make the back and forth even better. I don't understand. <laughs> Mag Dry said, this is fire. But obviously, since a lot of people hate Drake, they thank you. That's all I'm saying. Like, if we enjoy hip hop, if we enjoy rap, because let's be honest, when Kendrick went at Big Sean, shut the fuck up. You sound like the last nigga I know. Niggas was like, oh, my God. That wasn't nothing monumental. Shut the fuck up. You sound like the last nigga I know. But because we knew who he was talking to, it meant something. But this guy comes out and drops a whole record and niggas want to say it's whack. That's crazy to me. Pink T Time says he did. We needed to be done. That's all I'm saying. If I gotta, if I gotta judge everything that I've heard out of everybody's songs, I gotta say Drake's shit is the better diss record. It just is what it is. You think Ross finna had a last word? Ross don't even, what are you gonna do? Lemon pepper him to death? He gonna, he gonna throw some lemon pepper in Drake eye at the wing stop? <laughs> Ross ain't gonna have no last word. Ross better keep his fucking mouth shut. <laughs> Ross gonna fuck around and Drake gonna buy his house out here in Atlanta. Find that bitch up for foreclosure. 
<laughs> y'all must not know who y'all talking about. I, I rock with you, Rosalinda, but Ross, no. <laughs> That's hilarious to me. Why would Drake apologize? Apologize for what? I never said Drake was the king of rap. That's in the chat. I don't believe that. Less is more. Oh my God. Less is more in rap beef. Are we are we from the same culture that produced Ether? <laughs> what are y'all talking about? Less is more in rap beef, but the best diss that most people would crown, Ether, this nigga talked about Jay for four minutes too. Foxy got you hot because you kept a face in a puss. What you think again, girls, now because of your looks? Negro, please. You know mustache having with whiskers like a rat compared to beans you whack. And your man stabbed un and made you take the blame. Your ass went from, come on, dog. Are we, are we from that? Are we from that hip hop? Are we from that hip hop? Nasir Jones, Plato nigga. Would I look like a Fredo nigga? Beanie Siegel going at them niggas? But you talking about less is more? Take over? <laughs> I know you missing Nas the fame, but along with celebrity comes about 70 shots to your frame, nigga. You are lame. Are we are we really talking about less is more? Y'all got me. Y'all got me twisted. <laughs> Come on, now. You say the king. Oh, my God. The king of rap is Tupac. Tupac is my favorite ever. But come the fuck on, man. This is this is who we're talking to. <laughs> the king of rap is Tupac. Come the fuck on, man. I know. I know Pac albums word for word back and forth. But y'all not finna play with me like here in this chat. <laughs> oh, man. Lil Cool T says, Drake killed it. Every shot Drake took, he hit them in the head. Thank you. That's all we asking for is for niggas to be direct with their shit. We thought Drake wasn't going to say nothing. A lot of y'all said Drake was in a corner crying somewhere, curled up in a ball. So many people said, oh, I don't think he's going to take time out of his tour. I didn't even think he was going to take time out of his tour to respond now that we get a response everybody want to move the goalposts i'm not with that shit i'm sorry <clears throat> come on dog he did lose the push a t battle that's a fact but we're talking about today push a t like i said push a t ain't even talking about push a t all right push a t's out somewhere enjoying his family I just think it was a poor beat selection and a bad hook, but that's what you get when you're on a timeline. Exactly. Like this wasn't supposed to be a, this wasn't made to be a hit record. Let's just, let's just look at how Drake does these things. He came out with charged up, which was not the wave. He gave Pusha T Duppy since we're going to talk about it. And then he gave, he gave Meek Mill back to back a hit record that you had to listen to the whole summer. So if this is just a warm up, just imagine what he can do with a little extra time. And again, I got K dot in this discourse. Why would I say Drake can out rap Pusha T, but Pusha T is not in the conversation. What is Pusha T doing? Y'all going to really make me throw Pusha under the bus because I haven't enjoyed his last two albums, but I love Push. <laughs> y'all go really y'all go make me violate. I don't think people are biased, but if we are going off of what Joe B said, we were expecting nuclear. This was not it. I understand that. But if the if you take the song for the song that it is right, you listen to it. Take Joe Budden out of the picture because Joe Budden is not even connected to the situation. If you listen to everybody else, what they dropped, they dropped a couple bars and they went about their business. Drake went at every Drake has every rapper in the game essentially jumping on his neck. And he responded to everybody. I don't see how that's a problem. And to say it's not it. Yeah, it's not nuclear. But he's going to have even more. I ain't cover no Rick Ross titties. <laughs> that man got a shirt on. Come on. 
That's crazy. We all know if you give Kendrick five minutes, it's done. I'm a K-Dot fan. I expect K-Dot to come out on top. But that doesn't mean I'm discrediting what K-Dot, what, uh, what Drake just dropped. That's all I'm saying. Oh, Black Juice, you cr you tripped. Cole Ish was harder. No, it wasn't. I said the shit. I said it was weak. I said it was mid as hell. I said I didn't want to hear that shit. He was, that nigga, you going to say Cole shit was harder? How is it harder when this nigga said, I'm shooting my brother with tears coming down my face? That's hard? That's gangster? Dear God, forgive me if I have to go to war with my brother while your brother saying, shut the fuck up and get in the ring. Come on, dog. Let's be honest. <laughs> Let's be honest here. <laughs> oh, man. Y'all funny. Y'all funny, man. The chat hates Drake. I see. I see a lot of people don't enjoy Drake all of a sudden. Who's running up his numbers when he, every time he drops an album? Because he's outselling everybody, but everybody seems to hate him on the same breath. How does that work? <laughs> It, it's crazy because I got to defend this nigga and he's not even the dog I got in the fight. But I got to defend him because niggas is tweaking. You can't X out anyone. Did you? Juice Man. He X'd out everybody. I, I mean that as in he went head on at everybody. He didn't take, he didn't miss nobody name. He didn't skip over nobody. He essentially lined them niggas up and went, yeah, yeah, yeah. At each one of these niggas, y'all are hyping up niggas that got two, three bars in their diss records. I'm not understanding. I love Cole. I love K-Dot. K-Dot is my favorite out of the three. But let's be fucking real here. Y'all hyped up that J. Cole shit talking about him crying, shooting his brother. Y'all thought that was hard. I said that shit was mid to begin with. Now we got people saying Drake is gay. You know, you know you have devolved to the lowest common denominator when you start calling a nigga gay because you can't beat him. Moment of silence for Michael X. You disgracing, you disgracing the X lineage. I'm thinking you got Ma Michael X from Malcolm X. You got to chill, brother. Crown by K says, push a T hard in a lyrical beast. He more underground to be as commercially known as he is. Push a T is not in the conversation. I'm sorry. Much love. We not talking about push a T. Push a T is hibernating somewhere with his family, enjoying life. Shane Kidd, thank you, bro. Thank you. My my guy. Somebody who actually knows what he's talking about. We got that's what that's why we've been rocking so long. Like, I prefer K Dot, but we're not gonna act like Drake came with some old weak stuff. That's not even that's not okay. <laughs> Oh, my God. Who else do y'all think is going to respond to Drake beside Kendrick? I think, uh, honestly, I, I, I could see Ross coming back. It's going to be weak as hell, but I could see Ross coming back. I could see Future, because Future got more in, more in the uh, tuck. He going to say something. Uh, who else did he go at? I don't think, I don't think. The weekend really wants to engage in a hip hop rap battle. He got his shit off on that one little song. He might say some little slick shit on his next album, but y'all remember y'all y'all remember how the weekend was looking on that other album when his shit was all fucked up, like he had got plastic surgery and and left the goddamn bed too early. It's liable to get like that in real life for the weekend. So I hope he bows out and goes and chills somewhere. Why is Drake dissing John Morant? He's dissing John Morant because he wanted to jump on the wagon too. Everybody got hit. That's just like saying, why did Biggie rap about 
Anthony Mason or whoever that nigga was, who the Knicks players, baby mama, he smashed back in the days. Why? <laughs> y'all don't really listen to rap. That's all I. That's all I could deduce. Y'all don't really listen to rap. Y'all don't know y'all history as much as you would like to think. Much love to you, Corey. But come on, doc. The get money, get money was actually taken out of the final version too. Y'all should, y'all should definitely go check out the final version. Wow. They make excuses for you because they hate to see me lit. That's a that he man. How prophetic! How prophetic! He said it in the line. <laughs> Everybody in here making excuses. It's crazy. <laughs> oh, man. Nika says, let me get to Nika. I don't think Kendrick was behind the doors trying to make peace through top. Probably not. Let me get down here and see what y'all said. I got caught up in the middle. Weak ass diss, bro. Y'all stop. Y'all step your hip hop IQ up. Watch some, watch some URL. This nigga eating beans. Tell him about some watch URL. That's not even, that's not even, come on, bro. That's a whole nother bracket. Now, I got to disagree with you on this. Kendrick definitely packed up. Jay Electronica, he packed up uh, Big Sean. He packed up Shine when he said Good Cat, Good Cat, Mad City was trash. Dumping out the roof. Doot, 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 doot. Again, if you haven't, if you haven't consumed enough hip hop, you can't talk with me. I'm sorry. If, if all you know is one artist that you've been listening to for the last 12 years and you don't fuck with nobody else, we can't speak. Do I think he'll drop it on streaming? I think he will. It might end up on one of them uh, Scary Hours projects or something like that. He need to drop that bit so he could cash in on all this hype. Cause I'm just not, I'm not understanding. This the song is hard. Thank you, baby. Thank you. Got to hit the got to hit the likes. You feel me? Uh that Metro shot Drake took at him stung, bro. Metro is going to feel that one. And that was just a, and that was a light tap on Metro. Like, shut your ass up and make some drums, nigga. Like, who fuck is you out here talking about? <laughs> Nigga, you wanna you you trying to get album of the year for making drums when everybody else rapping on your shit? Fuck out of here! I ain't mad at him for swiping them off. I enjoy URL TV and Smack, but we're not even that's not that's not even valid in what we're talking about. L says, this is just the first round. They all waiting for each other to empty the clip. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Everybody is, is just, they they warming up. But out of the out of the records that I've heard, Drake is taking direct shots. He didn't do no other theatrics. He didn't do no singing. He didn't do no rapping for the ladies. He shot at everybody that, that had an issue with him. Y'all see this fucking thumbnail or no? Nah? Because he shot at all these niggas. And best believe, with that ASAP shit that just dropped, he going to shoot at that nigga next. So, I don't I don't know. Y'all plan. Y'all plan. They focus. Thank you. Serene, you're absolutely right. They focused on emotions, not facts. And she can't stand Drake. That was a J. Cole production. What does that have to do with anything? I know it was a J. Cole production. You gonna say High Power is not a good song no more because J. Cole produced it? What are we talking about, fam? 
Much love and respect that I don't want no trouble. Says, I'm not a Drake fan. I like some of his music, but hats off to Drake for responding. He's definitely Thanos with all the stones. New sub, good content. Much love and respect to you, fam. Like, we got to keep it honest. We got to keep it real. I done said it about 30 times. I am Team K-Dot. I am Team Kendrick. But who else is shooting direct shots at 12 niggas in four minutes? You got to tell me who else did it. We shouldn't give him credit because how does the biggest rapper in the world have ghostwriters? <laughs> Man, if we really outed everybody that got ghostwriters, this whole hip hop shit will fall to pieces. Let's just keep it honest. If we outed every motherfucker with a ghostwriter, hip hop would cease to exist. The thumbnail is right here, right beside my head. You wait for confirmation that is real. It's real. What's the bars? Only line was what's a print... What do you mean, what's the bar? You gonna make me go back through these lyrics after I already went through them? Are we really about to play that game? <laughs> Talking about what's the bars. Oh, man, y'all funny. So you mean to tell me I can never be a nobody number one fan? Your first number one, I had to put it in your hand. That's a direct shot. Your first number one, the first time you got on the charts was off of me. You pussies can't get booked outside America for now. Saying you niggas can't tour overseas. I'm out in Japan doing what the fuck I do. You niggas is just local jokers. That's not a diss. That's not a bar. What hip hop are we talking about? I'm the hit maker y'all depend on. That's a that's a fact. A part a, a big part of diss records, you have to rely on facts. Is he not the hit maker these niggas depend on? Ross? We wasn't really talking about Ross in no type of conversation until he started doing songs with Drake. Let's be fucking real. Future didn't get no validity in hip hop. Niggas said he sounded like straight trash ass juice. Niggas hated on that fucking auto tune shit till he linked up with Drake. Then that shit became acceptable. Let's be honest about this shit, man. Kendrick Lamar, good kid, Mad City. Oh, man, we got this dope rapper. He's an excellent rapper, but we got to put an album out on him. Who do we go get to give this album certification? Drake. I'm a Kendrick fan, but there's no way you can overlook this nigga's contributions. This is based in facts, not fiction, not no fucking punchlines. It's just facts. The weekend would not have a career had it not been for Drake putting him on. Are we not, like... Facts. Right? <clears throat> How the fuck you big stepping with a size seven men's on? How you a big stepper and you a small little nigga? How's that not? How does that not have no validity? I know my picture on y'all wall when you cook up. He's talking directly to Metro and Future. Every, every song y'all made on your last two albums, y'all was thinking about me. I'm clearly on y'all wall. What? Extortion, baby. Your whole career been shook up because Top told you drop and give me 50 like some push-ups. You've been getting extorted your whole career. Top told you get, drop down and give me 50% of everything you do. I'm not I'm not sure what, what what's not making sense. Maroon 5 need a verse. You better make it witty. Then we need a verse for the Swifties. Going dead at Kendrick for doing songs with Maroon 5 and Taylor Swift to get crossover pop appeal. When Drake gets crossover pop appeal just off his name. Again, I am a Kendrick Lamar. I'm on his side, but these are facts. Pip squeak pipe down. You ain't in no big three. Scissor got you wiped down. Travis got you wiped down. Savage got you wiped down. Like your label boy, you in the scope right now. He's on Interscope. Like your label, you in the scope right now. We got we finna fire off on your ass. <clears throat> What's the bars? I'ma keep I'm gonna keep quoting you on that. What's the bars? I'm at the top of the mountain, so you tight now. Just to have a talk with your ass, I had to hike down. 
Big difference between Mike then and Mike now. What the fuck is this? A 20v1, nigga? Y'all know what a 20v1 is? 20 versus one person? Y'all want to gang up on a whole album and every nigga throwing darts at me? I bet. It take 20 niggas to take me down. What's a prince to a king? He a son, nigga. Get more love in the city where you from, nigga. Metro set your whole ass up and make some drums, nigga. Like, why are you even talking to me? Where Talking about where's the bars? <laughs> y'all tripping. I'm the sixth guy. I'm the front runner. Y'all nigga manager was Chubb's little blunt runner. Talking to the weekend. I'm the front runner. Your manager was my homeboy's blunt runner. Your boy used to make store runs for my niggas. How you even talking to me? Claim the six and you're not from it. You boys got rich. You had to run from it. Like, what? Where's, where's the bars not happening? Right? Rolling loud stage, y'all would turn. That was slick as hell. Should have probably changed if your BM start to kiss and tell. So y'all was hyped up. Y'all was having a great time. But should have switched up if your baby mama start leaking information, which Drake is known for getting niggas close ties, especially women, to leak information. The Pusha T shit that y'all y'all talk about so much that he lost allegedly. Even Pusha T came out and admitted, yo, Drake was behind the scenes reaching out to women that I know and they were actually giving him information. He said, y'all don't understand how deep this shit get. This nigga really be behind the scenes getting information from people that's really close to you. Pusha T said that out his own fucking mouth. Listen to the Pusha T interview with Joe Budden podcast. Quit playing with me. Um, <clears throat> Don't tell me about no switches. I'll be rocking every fucking chain I own next visit. Don't talk to me about no switches in your song because the next time you see me, I'm going to be rocking all my jewelry. Y'all niggas ain't going to do shit. Right? Top, top say drop your little ass. Better motherfucking drop and give them 50. Like, come on, man. Ross jumping in. I might take your latest girl and cuff her like I'm Ricky. Officer Ricky. Officer Ricky. <laughs> I might take your latest girl and cuff her like I'm Ricky. Can't believe he jumping in. This nigga turning 50. You 50 years old jumping in another nigga battle? Are you serious? Come on, dog. Every song that made it on the chart he got from Drizzy. Where's the bars? Come on, dog. I don't care what cold thing. That dot shit was weak as fuck. <laughs> Keeping it direct. I don't care what cold think. Cold think shit cool. Cold think everything sweet. Fuck that nigga. I I like my disses direct. I'm be honest. I don't like I don't like mystery shopping with my diss records. I don't like getting the mystery prize out the cereal box, man. Excuse me? Stop talking about Drake putting niggas on. Drake only put himself close to artists so he can steal their style and claim it's his. When have you ever heard Drake's, Drake rap like Kendrick Lamar? I'll wait. When have you heard Drake rap like Rick Ross? I'll wait. Everybody gets with people. Everybody collaborates. You think these niggas coming up with all these raps and hooks on their own? As I stated, if we expose everybody that's got writers, hip hop will cease to exist. I want to see it. I want to see it. Ross coming back. That's going to be the weakest Ross coming back is going to be the weakest out of the bunch. That nigga gonna sprinkle lemon pepper all over the track. He gonna throw it in Drake eye like some sand. And he gonna get back to his motherfucking mansion. Come on, dog. Woo, shit. Kendrick does more features with Taylor Swift and Beyonce than respected rappers unless he dissing. I'm a Kendrick fan and stat clipping is not lying. That nigga been on Beyonce last three albums. I was, I was expecting him to pop up on Cowboy Carter. 
That shit surprised me that he wasn't on there. And I fought with Kendrick. My favorite out of the big three. How lame is Pip Squeak? How lame is his size shoes? Now we now we're talking. How lame is Pip Squeak? Negro, please. You know mustache having with whiskers like a rat compared to beans you whack. That's every, that's Nas is everybody goat. He said you got whiskers like a rat and niggas set that shit fire. But now all of a sudden it's lame to call somebody a pip squeak. The double standards in hip hop, I'm not I'm not letting them fly. Them drop and give him 50 shots are funny. Like YMCMB and J Prince ain't been in his pockets down there his whole career. Now that line, I definitely took some prejudice against. I was like, bro, niggas been exposed that you assigned to like six niggas. So it's no way you could ever talk about nobody's percentages, right? I said that when I first went through the lyrics, but that don't invalidate the rest of the shit he was saying. <laughs> you, you you do better by telling us what's not bars on the track. It's crazy. I'm just saying, man. These only bars to casuals. So, all right, you gonna you gonna make me violate my dog. Fuck the big three, nigga. It's just big me, nigga. Bum. It sounded excellent. It sounded immaculate, but that's not no... If you're talking lyrical miracle, ain't nobody did shit yet. If we're talking about lyrics, if we if we want to go into who's most lyrical, ain't nobody said shit yet. So we might as well not even have a conversation if, if we're going to keep it to that. Facts, Nas made fun of Jay-Z lips, dick sucking lips, and niggas been running with that shit for 20 years. But all of a sudden, Pip Squeak is lame. Y'all got me fucked up. Nas is one of my goats, but y'all got me fucked up. DJ Wu, it's all good. Keep your thumb in your ass, man. It's, it's all good. <laughs> it is all good, my brother. <laughs> DJ Wu. Didn't I kick you out once before? Who said I'm glazing? Drake gave ASAP and Future their first number ones on Billboard, including Kendrick fucking problems 2013. Y'all niggas must be kids in here. Thank you, David. I've been telling them the whole time. I actually... I'm a Kendrick fan more than anybody else in this debate. But we not going to act like this nigga ain't spitting facts. That's all I'm saying. And the fact that people don't want to get to that point and be honest about things, it's like, bro, this hip hop shit is dumb. What more? What, what else is there to break down? Fuck the big three, nigga. It's just big me, nigga. Bum. <laughs> like, let's not act like Kendrick gave us a fucking hit him up. Let's not act like Kendrick gave us a goddamn, uh, what's the other shit? Against all odds. Up in the studio, getting blowed to the truest shit I ever spoke. 21 gun salute, dressed in fatigue, black jeans and boots. You know what I'm saying? He ain't give us none of that. This little nigga named Nas think he live like me. Talking about he left the hospital to fight like me. You nigga, you living fantasies, nigga. I reject your deposit. We shook Drake punk ass. Now he out of the closet. Now you wonder what. Talking like a bitch, nigga. Blow them out. Next time bitch niggas talking, bitch, close your mouth. Peep me. I take this war shit deeply. To see too many real niggas fall to let these bitch niggas beat me. We ain't got that from Kendrick. So why are you acting like he said all this crazy shit? If we, if we going by that standard, Drake got the most bars. He got the most shots. <laughs> it's crazy. I'm sitting here having to defend Drake, and I'm really a Kendrick fan. <laughs> Y'all <Yeah>, funny. <laughs> Y'all 
Y'all niggas mad as hell for no reason. That's crazy. I love it though. I love it. I'm seeing I'm seeing DJ Wu, all his little friends. That's all good. I love it. <laughs> Y'all are hilarious, man. Your whole audience disagree with you. Why put up a poll and lose? How you going to... Bro, what are you smoking? I put up a poll that said yes, no, or I need to listen more. What does that poll have to do with me? It's a question. I don't got to dis... I don't got to agree with nobody. <laughs> I damn sure ain't got to agree with you. What are you talking about? You think I put the poll up for confirmation bias? Nobody going to change my opinion. <laughs> Anybody that's been on my channel for 10 minutes will see. I'm going to say what the hell I'm going to say. I'm going to talk about I'm going to talk to y'all about what y'all got to say. We could meet somewhere in the middle. We can agree, we could disagree. But ain't shit changing. <laughs> I love to see it. He was responding to bars on a featured track, Bow. Now he got something else to respond to with Drake actually dropping something that actually calls him out. Of course, that's how that's how this whole thing goes, right? Somebody got to say something for the next person to respond. But you said something to me. You gave me four bars. You gave me six bars. I gave y'all niggas four minutes, and I went at every one of y'all. Now I'm waiting on all of y'all to say some shit back because... Please believe if Drake stepped out here and took shots at all these niggas, y'all don't think he got nothing else? Y'all don't think he has nothing else in the tuck? Y'all think he emptied his whole clip on this one song because y'all want to be biased about Kendrick. And I'm actually the Kendrick fan. I've been my my story been consistent this whole time. But in the moment. Drake dropped a solid diss record. We're not going to act like it's not. And some people y'all want to say it's not. You're capping. What's the setup? Bum! That's the setup. Bum! Nigga, bum! <laughs> oh my God, setup of the year. That's the setup of the year, nigga, bum! Get the fuck out of here, man. <laughs> oh, man. I'm not mad because I'm not even a Drake. I'm not even a Drake loyal fan. Why would I be mad? <laughs> I'm just finding it comical that everybody is trying to shit on Drake because y'all heard he had a ghostwriter eight years ago. But I see the same people that was bumping Kanye and took his shit number one. And he done had ghostwriters for the last 20 years of his career. The first song you heard from him in light was written by another nigga, but y'all been giving him a pass. The first beat you probably heard from Kanye and liked was made by another nigga, but y'all been giving him a pass. But I don't know hip hop. <laughs> oh, man. That's funny. Academics Jr. <laughs> Oh my God. That's crazy. Let me see what Lil Lex is saying. Lighten up the mood here. I'm an aspiring actress. Your song, Let's Get It, song is the type of song that motivates me to work harder and be confident. I'm going to definitely be listening to this before walking into my acting conservatory every day. Thank you so much, Lil Lexus. I greatly appreciate it. I greatly appreciate that. Big shout out for that. <clears throat> I called out that Chip and Nail shit. I said that was weak. I did. I'm not saying every bar on the song was fucking fire. But I'm saying he took aim. Everybody that had something to say about him, he shot back. Why is that not being considered when everybody else been doing just little little shit? That's all I'm, that's all I'm really saying. But y'all want to take it to a place where it's like, oh, Drake... He do he damned if he do, damned if he don't. If he don't say nothing, he a bitch in your eyes. When he come back and he just take a little jab like he has been the last decade, y'all say, oh, he don't really want to show up to the fight. I've even said that shit. Now he takes he puts the gloves on, hops in the ring, and punches on every nigga that done said something to him. 
Y'all say it's still trash. I'm not cool with that. I'm not okay with that. Y'all not going to make me concede. Drake got heart and I respect that he put it on the floor and it's time for these guys to get in the boot. That's all. Come on. Like, <laughs> it's really ridiculous. James Dean, ain't nobody unsubscribing from me. I don't know what the hell you talking about. <laughs> you can say that shit all day. What is that going to do? <laughs> I doubt you was even subscribed to me to begin with. Hell you talking about? <laughs> when we get done with this, I'm going to talk about something completely different. So it don't fucking matter. Everybody's not doing nothing you talk about. And if you want to go on your channel and talk about this, let's see, let's see who agrees with you over there. I'm sure you won't though. Apollo X, I think a lot of people in the comments just can't stand Drake. He probably responded from daddy's house. Yeah, it's that's the only thing that I could really chalk it up to because I'm standing in the middle. I'm taking everybody's lyrics. I'm taking everybody's disses into account. Every time somebody has dropped, when when uh, when Kendrick dropped the like that verse, we came on here and we talked about it. I gave him his I gave him his props for that. When J. Cole put his put his bid in, we came on here and talked about that. I said, man, that shit was mid. I don't respect that. I'm shooting my brother with tears coming down my face. I didn't respect that shit. That nigga apologized two days later. We came on here and we talked about that too. We talked about Dreamville feeling some type of way because other niggas voiced their opinion about it. We talked about that. Drake jumps back in and says, you know what? These niggas playing on my head top pause. Let me get at all these niggas. All of a sudden, it's not cool for him to jump in and jump in. When everybody done came and took their shots at him and thought shit was sweet. But for some reason, that don't make no sense. Thank you. It's K.Dot turn. We got to wait on him to respond. He's not coming back. He's not coming back within the next 24 hours. So all the K.Dot truthers which i'm actually one of them we gotta wait to see what he's gonna come back and say y'all hyping him up before he can even get in the booth before he can even digest everything that drake said to him y'all acting like he just like he's om omnipresent or some shit like he just got the disc ready now no nah, we're gonna talk about drake, what drake said and when kendrick comes back guess what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go live again and we're gonna talk about it and we're gonna compare Drake's jabs versus Kendrick's jabs. Whoever hit the hardest is going to take the round. But for some reason, me giving Drake his credit for today is incomprehensible. What part of the game is that? I didn't say Ross didn't blow up, but think about think about this. Rick Ross had hustling. He had that same ass flow for years. 22, I'm in Noriega. The, what the, that nigga got with Drake. Whole flow switched up. Now he talking about lemon pepper. Whole flow switched up. All of a sudden, he getting with new producers. All of a sudden, he think he the second coming of Biggie. All of a sudden, Dice Pineapples. Come on, man. No, I'm sounding like somebody who actually know what the fuck I'm talking about. <laughs> I ain't nobody's cheerleader. I don't even cheerlead for my damn self. So you got me all the way twisted. <laughs> you still talking about setups. Thank you. Obviously, Jay isn't biased or he'd only say good stuff about Kendrick. Now, if I came in here and I was just glazing Kendrick for the whole stream, somebody would be roasting me for that. You know what I'm saying? That's how I know some people just, they just lit, they're agents of chaos. And I'm, I'm, I'm okay with it. 
<laughs> oh man, this is fun. All he do is talk shit from his mansion. That nigga wake up every morning, get a glass of goddamn uh whatever that shit he be drinking on, and just be talking from his bedroom and talking from other places in his house. He don't even drop songs no more. I said Ross was weak. I said he wasn't he wasn't hitting the charts like that till he linked with Drake. If you go look up Rick Ross's top records after hustling, what songs are those? You go do the research. You ain't got. I ain't gonna tell you. I ain't gonna spell it out. You want me to put it in subtitles or something? Since you talking about URL, you should know who I'm talking about. Then lemon pepper. My nigga, how you gonna tell me who I didn't listen to? <laughs> nigga, I listen to God forgives. I don't. Probably more than the average person. I listen to Black Market more than the average person. But have you looked at the trajectory? Okay, let's. I'm gonna humor you since you want to go and you want to die on a Rick Ross hill. That's that's crazy to me. Out of all the people Drake took shots at, you want to go on the Rick Ross hill? Wow. Port of Miami 2, what did that do? 2019. How many records did he sell without a Drake feature? <laughs> uh, the shit don't even come up. They stopped, they stopped calculating Rick Ross record sales, bro. They don't even come up no more. You know when they say such and such so X amount of albums, they don't even they don't even report his shit no more, bro. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. Richer than I ever been. <laughs> oh man, that's funny to me. They stopped reporting this nigga album sales because it ain't got Drake on it. Cause they ain't doing numbers no more. He stopped doing songs with Drake. He ain't in the charts no more. Yeah, we're talking about what else are we going to talk about when it comes to Rick Ross? You want to you want to delve into lyricism with Rick Ross? That's the hill you want to die on? <laughs> Limit pepper. We're going to go to wing stop and get some 10 piece. Are you serious? They got a song together called Limit Pepper Freestyle. So <laughs> Come on, dog. And who outwrapped him on that? Drake. Drake. Lemon Pepper Freestyle. Who outwrapped who? If you want to go bars, now you want to you want to flip it from sales. You want to go to bars. We could go with both. Drake is eighty times better than Rick Ross in every category. Are you not serious? <laughs> oh man we talking about rick ross that's that's how i know it's time to get off we got all these superstars in here and we talking about rick ross i think it's 80 i think drake's track is to be honest i think it's definitely better i didn't like cole's response i thought it was weak to begin with i thought he shouldn't have put it out i thought if he was if he was feeling apprehensive about dissing K Dot, talking about I got a I got a tears running my, down my face to shoot my brother. I don't want to hear no shit like that, at ever. I don't like my I don't like my hip hop beef cooked, medium. So he should have kept it. We got some we got some people in here. Y'all y'all trying to die on a Rick Ross hill. That's how I know hip hop talks are not for everybody. That's crazy. 
I'm I'm somebody who actually listen to Fountain of Youth pretty frequently. But y'all not finna act like Rick Ross is that nigga today. We got all these superstars on here and y'all want to get on a Rick Ross. I got to go. I, we got other things to get to today. Much love and respect. I appreciate y'all for tuning in. Like and share the video. I know some of y'all ain't. Um, much love to everybody that super chatted today. I greatly appreciate y'all. Let me go ahead and give y'all y'all shout outs once and for all before I go. Because <laughs> the game has definitely switched. I don't understand where y'all was trying to go. But shout out to JD. And shout out to I Don't Want No Trouble for the Super Chats. We greatly appreciate y'all. Um, everybody that was being sensible in the chat, we greatly appreciate y'all. Stay tuned. Be sure to become an insider, even if you're hating. I know some of y'all are definitely hitting that subscribe button while you're talking trash, so it's all good. Much love and respect. I'll catch y'all later, all right? Peace. King of my city in cul de sac. Come and I swing like soldier rags. Leading my people like quarterback. But I study this shit, I'm an almanac. Had to get up and grind. Knowledge is booming, I'm here to apply. Came with the chip and the dip, it just single the mind. We finna do more to survive. I need my check. Spinning the block for the gouda, we hitting the jeweler to flood out the net. We don't do beef on computers, so I'm straight out the sewer, we come when you rest. Uh, niggas be looking perplexed, so keeping my foot on their neck. No map, I trust my gut for the quest. With drama, I'm fully oppressed. I was ready for years and they died of me. All of a sudden, they tell me they proud of me. I've been dropping these haters like calories. Cross somebody came back with some batteries. Stand for my honor, but you run no gunner. Packing a stick with a drummer. Wanna catch my bad one fumble. I done came too far to be humble.